Hey everybody, it's Colette Baron Reed back again. This is the Astro Oracle reading for the week. What does that mean, even? Well, I pull a card for every single zodiac sign and you are going to read it like this. Your sun sign, let's say I'm a Cancer, my ascendant is Libra and my moon is Leo. So I will read first card Cancer, second card Libra, third card Leo. So whatever yours is, that's how you will read it. And you remember yesterday's reading, the six cards we did yesterday, that gave us an overview that's general. Now this is your up close and personal reading for how to work with the week. Okay, here we go. Let's do Aries first. Okie dokie, Aries, card number one. Oh, wide open. Great week for you, Aries. The energy is open for you to create new things. So this is a really, really good opportunity using the energy from the weekly reading, which was really about doing the inventory and finding out what you're planting in your field of dreams and recognizing that everything that you focus on is the thing that's gonna create a form later on. This is great for you to actually go beyond the scope of where you've been already. Um, Taurus, okay, I'm just gonna, oh, Taurus. Um, Taurus, is your movement is temporarily blocked. Well, you could say that to pretty much anybody, <laughs> but in your case, I'm gonna say, don't be too stubborn and rigid about where you're going or what you wanna see, because really this is about asking you to relax into where you are at the moment. Let's go for Gemini. I'm gonna do it this way, Gemini, Wizard of Awareness. Um, is upside down. So again, this is like as your life may be too suction cupped off to the end of your nose and you can't see past that. So this is about staying a little bit more open to new ideas. Not that difficult for Gemini, to be honest with you. So I think this is more like a little bit of a myopic vision, which you're gonna get a chance to change. Remember, this is the week that we do inventory on the things that we wanna discard as well as what we want to follow and focus on. So these are actually good things to think about. Cancer. Cancer, slow and steady, girls. Slow and steady. This is actually my most favorite artistic card in the deck. I love this card. Um, nothing fast. It's not necessary. You don't have to be fast. Just, just plot along with a list. I think that's the other piece in here. Slow and steady wins the race. Now, Leo. Leo is protecting treasure. That's beautiful. So, so Leo is about making sure, this is about self-care. So extra self-care for you, Leo. That would be really helpful. Um, now, Virgo, don't get involved in other people's dramas. The storm fields are here in the protection position. So it's like, you know, somebody else is raining or wants to rain all over me and I'm feeling pretty good. So this is the week to set boundaries as you chart a new course for your life. All right, time for a puppy break. Where's my puppy? Hi, everybody. I have a very heavy little dog here. Wow, you're like twice the size of the other ones. Okay, this is Tinkerbell, hello. Um, and we're here for a puppy break. Why are we here for a puppy break? Because we want you to subscribe to the channel and I'm bribing you with my dog, okay? That's really what's going on here. So slap that subscribe button and when you see the little bell, click on it and you get these videos every single week. Now let's take a look at Libra. All right, Libra's got the strength this week, but it's also a reminder, don't do everything alone, right? We are in a community, even though we feel separated, we're actually we've got a lot more ability to communicate with one another. Um, play nice, as you always do. Uh, solitude is in the protection position for um, Scorpio. So I would say, Scorpio, this isn't the time for you to be by yourself. Although you love the deep and the complex and the, you know, the really juicy, quiet moments. But this is like, reach out, you know, reach out and talk to people, etc. Because the solitude this week for you may get a little claustrophobic. So we want to, we want to change that. And you can change that. All right. So, and that's also a good week for you to share your ideas with other people. So we're looking at Sagittarius, it's time to heal the ouch. Um, this means to reach out to somebody that you might need to forgive or, or even look at how you might need to forgive yourself. Like this is, this is a whole week of self-reflection, right? And asking yourself, where have your thoughts, feelings, and beliefs led you? And can you make a change? So this is about a beautiful way to, uh, to also engage your self-care with self-forgiveness. 
Now let's take a look at Capricorn is details, details. Capricorn, you're probably working really hard at home. This is a time for you to ensure that you are paying attention to details. It's not like big picture time. This is like when you take everything out of your drawer and don't leave some things and take some things out. Take it all out. Look at what you totally know one you want to discard and take it all, you know, and then put it all back. So making sure every single little thing gets taken care of. And nice, it's a nice way for you to focus your time right now too. Aquarius is sad. So this is embracing grief. Uh, this is like an existential grief that everybody is feeling right now. And I think Aquarius is going to feel it this week a little stronger if you have Aquarius rising or Aquarius moon. So there really is a sense that you feel that pathos in the world and allow yourself to feel that because the sad embrace is really good for you to shed some skins right now and, and, and as you create a new identity for yourself. And then Pisces is listening. I love that mystical sign of Pisces is all about deep listening, intuitive listening. Really, really trust what you're hearing in your body and know that if something doesn't feel right, it's not right. So you know what you're listening to. And I think being able to be a little bit in solitude and taking some time out to really take a look at what have you planted in your field of dreams? Where are you really heading? Um, and not heading, as we know, it's got nothing to do with leaving the house. It has everything to do with you know, how you're creating your reality and how you're identifying yourself within the reality that's imposed upon you right now. All right, what a great week, I'm excited. And I will see you all next week with another puppy to bribe you. <laughs> so you'll watch. <laughs>